Wildwood faces an uncertain future. We had planned to open tomorrow, the first time in nearly three months of being closed. We have spent a huge amount of time, effort and money in preparing the park to be ready to open in a safe and COVID secure way. We've brought in additional toilets, we've put in a one-way system, we've closed most of our buildings, we've put lots of signs around to remind people about social distancing, and we've put in additional hand sanitising stations around the park. We've limited our visitor numbers and set up a timed entry system so people needed to book a time online before they could come to make sure that we could manage the numbers and avoid any crowds. We've also created videos of all our animal talks so people can watch those on their devices in the park without creating crowds at those sorts of talks. But at midnight on Sunday, the government changed the law and they changed the law that means that Wildwood is now forced to remain closed. We've not been given any explanation for this and we still now have no idea when we might be able to open again to the public. Not only was this a huge disappointment to us and our supporters who wanted to come and visit, but it's also potentially a huge blow to Wildwood's future. Today, you can go and visit a National Trust Park or Kew Gardens or other botanical gardens. But you can't go to a park with animals. The public parks and gardens and beaches have all been open and people have been meeting there without any social distancing. You know, and in a few weeks you'll be able to go to all the shops and city centres. You will be able to go to Primark to buy a t-shirt but you won't be able to come to Wildwood and walk around in the open spaces and experience that really important connection with nature that so many people need at a time like this. We just don't understand. Without our visitors, we're losing a huge amount of money. Each month that we're closed costs Wildwood about £200,000. We cannot sustain that for long. Some of the biggest zoos in the country have been told by the government to prepare to keep their gates closed indefinitely. They are worried about their futures, and so are we. As a small charity, Wildwood cannot afford to be closed indefinitely. Even when we're closed to the public, we're still taking care of our animals and doing our important conservation work. We announced a really important new partnership yesterday where we're looking to reintroduce wildcats. This is such important work and we're determined not to stop. We've been running live streams to bring Wildwood to people stuck indoors. We've created online education resources and filmed our animal talks. We've remained positive and hopeful and thankful. But now we're fighting for our future. Being forced to remain closed indefinitely, despite being a safe and COVID secure space, is a devastating blow to us. Wildwood has been voluntarily closed until now. And it was only when it was safe were we planning to reopen our doors to the public. And now all those plans have been blocked for reasons that we just don't understand. Being in a safe outdoor space, connecting with nature is exactly what people need at a time like this. People's mental health has been hugely affected by this pandemic. And people really need the opportunity to come out and spend time in tranquil, open spaces like this. We know that we can manage the number of visitors that we have here. We've put so much effort into making the site safe. We were planning, even when we opened and were allowed to, to keep our gift shop shut for the safety of staff and the public. But bizarrely, on the 15th of June, we'll be allowed to open that shop, but keep the park shut. And this doesn't make any sense. Wildwood is doing everything we can to fight this. We've written to our MP. We're supporting other zoos in lobbying the government. We are utterly committed to looking after our animals, carrying on with our conservation work, 
and continuing with the rescues of animals we have planned. We have a pair of orphaned bear cubs joining us in a few months that we're rescuing. We cannot let this crisis stop us. You have all been so wonderful while we've been closed. People have found so many different ways of supporting us through this crisis. People have been joining as members of the trust, even though we're shut. You have been adopting our animals in record numbers. You've all been so generous in donating to our COVID-19 appeal. Many of you have been doing fundraising activities. And you've given us such pride through your social media comments and emails that you've all been sending to us. This means so much to us, and it's why we can carry on doing what we do. But Wildwood needs your help now more than ever. To help Wildwood survive this crisis, please go to our website, wildwoodtrust.org. Thank you all very much.